Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Our Darker Purpose. So lately, we've been kind of star or, um, spoiled for choice with uh, these Isaac likes, these uh, you know top-down twin-stick roguelike shootery kind of games. You've got a wizard's lizard, we've got Isaac, and now we have Our Darker Purpose, which is another similar one. You may have seen this on the channel a long time ago as we start, and I've already read this out loud on the channel, in fact, because there was an alpha build of this game that I. Uh, that I covered a little bit on the channel, but this is the full 100% complete uh, retail release of our Darker Purpose. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I'm not totally sure if they're going to like update it before it comes out tomorrow, but this is, you know, I'm recording this 24 hours before the, uh, the game will be available for public consumption on Steam. I can't remember how much it's going to be, but if you check out the link in the description, uh, then you should be able to find out all you need to know about picking up our darker purpose for yourself. It's a really fun game. I just uh, we've recorded a green versus zen of it as well, so I'm a little bit into the game. There's a, a like a long form progression system. I haven't actually bought anything in that yet, so you'll see like all the upgrades I choose. But uh, so far, I have ten uh, merit like tokens that you get for completing levels, which allow you to uh, to get some some long term upgrades to your character, which is really important because starting out anyway, the game is super hard, like really ridiculously hard. It's maybe a little bit Rogue Legacy-like in that, you know, the game starts out purposefully very difficult for you because you don't have any upgrades yet and then later on, but it seems like um, the this game is going to have less upgrades than Rogue Legacy probably, but it, that's from my very, very new perspective on it. But you can think of this almost a, a little bit like a... Um, a combination between Binding of Isaac and Rogue Legacy in that sense. And you know also Wizard's, Liz w Wizards Lizard also takes a pretty similar approach to that with the blueprints. But anyway, so we've leveled up. This game also does have a uh, a juice box or a, a level up system and experience system. So great expectations of juice boxes plus, plus 15 life and enemies are twice as likely to drop juice boxes or tender is the rapid shot plus 20% attack speed. You know what, I'm actually going to go for the one on the right, and here's why. Uh, there are juice boxes in the game, and that's like the equivalent of health. We've got an item, by the way. Plus 10% range. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we've got already probably better upgrades than I've ever had in this game. Ah, that's not true. The bubble fish is really, really good. But uh, anyway, this is a shop. We don't have any money. I would really like to empower my juice boxes, make them heal a little bit more. That's basically like every heart you pick up, you get a little bit more out of it. So very good long-term investment. 12 kill, one-time use. 12 kills in a row without rolling awards 20% resist. That seems, I don't know about that. Awards 20% resist. Oh, but maybe it's permanent. Oh, that's, huh. That's interesting, okay. Plus one chalk, your chalk clouds can now fire arrows. That seems pretty neat. Uh, chalk, by the way, if we press the R button, then we can utilize some chalk. And that will um, block bullets for us for a little while, so making those fire arrows seems pretty neat. But I've never actually like found a chalk pickup, I don't think. So I'm a little bit hesitant to use my chalk as a result of that. Everything basically in this game seems very scarce. God, I hate this. I, I want that money. I don't want to get shot or electrocuted. Picking it. Oh my god. Okay. Game is hard, man. Let's uh okay, we've got we've come over here. Let's uh just avoid getting hit as much as possible and you know, as I say that of course, get hit twice, which is more than I thought was possible. I thought it would only get hit by one or the other of those projectiles, but nope, caught him. Don't worry. I'm really good at dodging in this game. For some reason, I find this game a lot harder than Wizards Lizard and Isaac in terms of just like making sure I'm out of the way of things. I'm not totally sure what that is. Whether it's the art style or just the, the way movement works, I haven't really looked within myself enough to understand what uh, what my issue is with this game and why I'm so fucking bad at it. But hopefully I'll improve a little bit as time goes on. So we've cleared out the first floor. It's, I, I think, uh, beneficial to clear out floors in this game. Uh, this is the boss room, by the way, you can tell by the fancy door. And we are now fighting this uh, these harmless markings which are going to shoot a bunch of shit at us. Fuck, there's so much shit going on. I don't like, I don't like this boss. I, this is, I think, the harder of the two starting bosses. Oh god, the harmless markings. They're not harmless at all, is the problem. 
I wouldn't have a problem with this boss at all if the markings really were harmless. But as it is, pretty difficult encounter. Uh, once she's out of the wall, it's not so bad. You just dodge all the shit she throws at you. But this uh, intermediate portion where you're not allowed to hurt her and you're chased around by these clouds and there's shit shooting all out of all the walls, not a huge fan. I should probably eat some uh, juice just in case I forget later and die. Oh my god. Just letting myself get destroyed here, but finally we're doing a little bit better here. We've got some uh, attack speed up, which is actually the first time I've had an upgrade like that in this game, and some range up, both of which seem really good. Um, so we don't have any money, or we have very little money. Can we see the money we have? Guess not, but I know we only picked up a maximum of like one or two, which is not enough to buy anything. If we had five, I would definitely want to pick up that uh, upgrade. Okay, so we've got the Weeping Kitchens or the Smith Dining Halls of a Front. We could get, if we beat this one, then we'd get six Meritus tokens instead of three. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's see how much harder this is than normal. Ah, it's underlit. It said that in the description. Holy shit, it's so dark. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this a whole lot. It's so dark. But luckily we have some range. Oh god, just stop throwing chairs at me, man. Where did that chair come from? They're just coming from off screen. What the fuck? That's shitty. Oh my god, how did that chair hit me? I thought I was against the wall enough that it was uh, not going to be an issue for me. God, the fucking chairs. Where the fuck are the chairs coming from? Wait, is that the source of the chairs? Oh, this bitch right here? She's not, they're not coming from her, they're just like, oh, they're falling out of the sky. Okay. I thought they were just coming from off screen, I didn't see her at all. See, so that's the issue with an underlit <laughs> level when I still don't know what the fuck enemies do. Is I'm just gonna spend a lot of time confused. We need this man dead. Oh man, I just rolled right into her. Okay, there we go. That guy's dead. This girl's torso is really impressive. Look at that. Look at how tiny her legs are. And they're still holding up that entire gigantic body. I mean, not not to be offensive. I didn't mean it like she was fat. She was, her torso is very, uh, very long. Oh, fuck. I've never seen a giant version of these guys before. But uh, I'm kind of scared. Whoa, what, what just... My character went the wrong way. Did I get confused for a second? Yeah. Oh, he has a magnet. He pulls you in. He's like a giant black hole. Oh man, that is so shitty. Okay, I need this guy dead then, because he's just going to keep on pulling me into him. Okay, this should be a lot easier now, I think. Let's just get away from him. Andrew the Attentive is this man's name. Oh god, I'm stuck in the potato sacks! Get out of there! <laughs> okay, we're all good. Alright, I think this guy's easy when he doesn't have his little buddies with him. He's just really good at pulling you into them. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, uh, we got the chalk upgrade. Alright, I really need to learn to use my chalk. I feel like, though, that's a pretty shitty upgrade just because it applies to something that I've, like, never gotten extra of, ever. But, oh god, we got the chair-throwing bitches! Oh, there's two of them. Oh god, okay. Okay, stay away from the fire. Just kill one of them. Okay, good. This is gonna be a lot easier now that we only have to dodge one chair. The double chairs was a little bit much, I think. It was a little bit excessive. There's the the boss. We don't... Oh, no. I want to be able to break this stuff. The enemies can break it. Get away from me, fire. Fuck. Okay. Oh, man. It was so close, too. Couldn't quite make it out of there without taking damage. We've got Chalkman here. Oh, and the chairs. This The shitty thing is those chairs are such a good synergy with the darkness because I can't... Like, the, I don't have any warning that there's one of those enemies in the room until there's a chair falling on my head. So I just have to hope it doesn't hit me. Okay. Get away from the chair. Oh my god. The chairs have a shockwave that persists after the destruction of the chair that you can then walk into. Okay. Good. Good. I need to take my final juice. <laughs> I almost got it a juke box, but my final juice box so that we don't uh, perish because I'm pretty low on health. This is probably going to be the end of this level pretty soon here. 
I'm hoping that I'll be able to beat the boss. Maybe if I like spam all of my chalk at it, then we'll do a little bit better. Oh my god, I can't believe those chairs hit me. Come on now. Seriously, look at their tiny legs. What the fuck is with these chairs? They're fucking they they have that shockwave afterwards, so I think they're gone, and then I walk back into the shockwave caused by the chairs. It persists for longer than I think is necessary. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on here. We've got a shop. We have actually have some money. Let's see what we can get. We buy some extra chalk. My manuscript uh, converts next three attacks to flurries of paper. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, max resist destroyed after taking 150 damage. I'm taking my manuscript. Because that, that's an E item that's basically equivalent to a spacebar item, but it just has a cooldown timer rather than you have to beat a certain number of rooms with it, so you can use it repeatedly in one room. So let's, uh, let's try it out. Yeah, see, now it's on cooldown for six seconds. That actually seems incredibly good. Because now we can use it again. Ah, uh, you have to actually use up the paper before it goes on cooldown, it looks like. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but still. It's good. It's a good item. I'm really glad I picked that up for, for my ten coins. Let's go ahead and use it again. Ah, we've leveled up. Alright. The perk of being a ranged wallflower, plus 20 damage. Or the dark is growing. Minus 20 move speed, plus 2 juice box capacity. Well, juice box capacity isn't going to be good for shit if I don't pick up some fucking juice boxes. So we're going to go with plus 20 damage for sure. I think plus 20 damage is actually really substantial, but we'll see. We'll see how that ends up. I thought I saw an item on the ground here while I was in that menu, but I guess not. Anyway... That is the end of this floor, it looks like. Let's go ahead and fight the boss and just see what we can do here. Oh god, it's the Candelibra! I hate this boss so much! It, it longs. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Because, see, the problem is, there's all these fucking spikes on the ground. And, oh god. Okay. Should probably just focus on dodging until... Oh man, I'm just walking all over the spikes. I can't tell where they are. Yeah, okay. That's going to be the end of that run. Let's do one more. Um, but first off, let's check out the extras. See if I can... I could leave some credits for the counselor. And Zen did that, and he says that it's worthwhile. But we don't... Uh, we only have 11 credits right now. Man, I only beat the very first four, so I only got one additional credit. Let's go ahead and start the game again. And uh, see if we can do a little bit better this time, because that time was kind of abysmal, to be honest. Went very poorly. I tried the harder floor because I just wanted to see how much harder it would be. Because it might be worth it to like grind out the harder floors, even if it makes your long-term prospects worse, to get a few more extra uh, tokens to carry on and uh, upgrade your character. Because I definitely do want to, uh, you know, pl play for the late game a little bit, or the, the later game, the long game of upgrading my character so that the game stops being so fucking goddamn hard. <laughs> um... And I think that'll be an interesting progression in the series. You know, we can see see the difference as my character grows in power. Like, I think uh, right now we have the opportunity to, like, upgrade our crit chance for 15. Or we could wait until we have 25 to give to the counselor for a, um, a mystery upgrade. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't actually find this guy to be a particularly difficult... Uh, champion enemy. He does charge like that, but uh, we can just keep our distance and shoot him down, basically. And just stay away from the electricity. Stop charging me! Stop. Thank you. And what do we got? Oh man, I think this is one of those things that breaks. Max crit chance destroyed after taking 150 damage. Okay, so we got crits every single hit. As long as we don't take too much damage. Um, it will go away after we take a certain amount of damage. I would definitely like to pick up one of these things. Gain plus 50 dodge on roll, destroyed after taking ah, uh, destroyed after taking 150 damage. But that's really cool. If you're rolling, you have a half chance to just dodge whatever hits you. And uh, cookies level up instantly on the next floor. That's neat, but probably not so good early game because we don't need that much experience to level up. Though I, I just assume that it's going to take more as we go. Or we could just get juice boxes or chalk. Oh my god, I forgot to use my chalk last round. Ah, oh, I'm the worst. I'm so bad about using consumables in games, like, if there's ever- oh my god, I just spawned on top of that thing, what am I supposed to do? Um, 
But if ever there's like grenades or something in a game, I'll just never use them. I'm so fucking stupid when it comes to shit like that. Um, so I really need to get better about that in this game. Like it took me a long time to feel comfortable using bombs like at all in Isaac as well. Just get away from the fire, just bait it away from the dragon basically. I don't want to lose my crit chance so soon, so hopefully we can get through this uh, fight pretty soon. I'm gonna like hit him here and then roll out of the way. There we go. God, my range is just so poor. I was so so used to that range up that I got uh, last time. Range up is really good in this game, it seems, because you start out with just so little. But anyway, that w that went pretty well. We got a B. I got a B. All right. So we could go to the troubling kitchens or the Simon kitchens of Oprobium. This one's wealthy. Wealthy seems good. Seems like that probably means there's some money on this floor. So, And the other one didn't have any modifiers, so let's fucking do it. Uh, one flew under the ranged attack. Plus 20 move speed. Great expectations of juice boxes. Enemies twice as likely. Let's get the move speed. That seems really good. Like, really good. Um, because then we'll be able to dodge more effectively, which is very handy. These, uh, these weird scarecrow things are going to do some AoE damage for us. We'll hit that a few times while all the dudes are next to it. Might as well. Oh, that hit me. <laughs> okay, that sucks. I gotta remember, too, that I have crits, so I should really um, be very careful about taking damage so that I can hang on to this advantage for as long as possible. I really, though, don't like the the like non-permanent upgrades. It really sucks when you get one of those. They're good upgrades. They're like really good, super overpowered upgrades, but as, as soon as you start taking damage, they go away. Which is a little bit shitty, especially for somebody like me who takes a ton of damage. Um, excuse me, would you mind sticking around here for a bit? Ah, we were... I, I've read this one in the Green vs. Zen, but basically they're having a dispute about a potato belonging in a different sack. They're gonna have a meeting about it. <clears throat> Man, if I had known how the chronology was gonna go, I would have, like, read it in this episode and not stopped during a race to read that out loud. Which in hindsight was pretty silly. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, there's so much shit. Why don't these guys have a, a range cap? Why is it just me? These, these things just go forever. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Oh man, there's a champion up there. This is where I lose my, uh, my upgrade for sure. Just keep hitting it. Just keep giving them the AoE. Did I do it? Okay, excellent. What do we got here? Ah, this is the uh, the badass paper attack. Really excited about having that again. All right, there we go. Do we still have crits? I can't tell. I'll have to see in the next room whether I'm still critting every hit. Oh man. Yeah, an 8 second cooldown for this thing is amazing. I just gotta be a little bit careful with it. You know, like in this situation, there's no reason for me to run in there until I have my uh, my papers again. And then we can just destroy both of these guys. It's some piercing damage, which is really nice. We, we're taking such stupid damage, though. What is, what is the deal with this? I feel like there's a secret to be had here. Nah, just a big pile of shit. Ah, uh, one of my... One of my shots actually made it in there. I was thinking maybe there was like a way to walk in. Nope. Alright, well. Anyway, super happy to have the paper again. This seems like an incredibly good spacebar item. Oh god. Oh, it's just survive. Okay, I can survive. Oh god. But this is a, this is a free item for us. So I'm pretty happy about that. We only took one damage from it. Uh, F to pick up, sorry. Oh god, get out of there. Uh, this gives us Thorn's attack, I've had that item before. Uh, so whenever an enemy hits us, then we do damage them. Which is nice, because I do tend to walk into enemies, so... You know, <laughs> might as well have it. Let's go ahead and wait for our manuscript to come back up again. Again, no reason to engage when we don't have all of the advantages possible for us. There we go. 
Am I still critting all the time? I can't tell. Alright, so that's the end of this floor. Let's go ahead and wait until we have our manuscript back up and then walk into the boss room. What have we got? The fucking candelabra again! Oh no. Just hide. Just hide and stay away. Let's try to stay in this light. I didn't even realize there was a light that like runs around like this. That seems real useful. Oh, the light's on! Fucking hate the candelabra of longing. This is like ended every single one of my runs, basically. I hate this guy so much. Okay. Oh, god. Use all the juice boxes. <laughs> I forgot completely about that mechanic. We might fucking beat the candelabra this time. Oh, god. I think I still have the fucking crits, man. Okay, so we took a ton of damage there, but holy shit, guys, we beat another level. We've got another four credits earned. So we got the Cajun Kitchen of <laughs> Kitchens of Heresy. Too small, and this one is leaderless. What does leaderless mean? Oh, that probably means there's no champion enemies to drop shit for us. Let's go to too small and see what the fuck that means. Uh, that probably just means less rooms, which I'm, you know... Not super opposed to having a quick floor here. Oh no, there's the the chair bitch. God, these chalk clouds are being real irritating. Okay, let's just take her down. Yeah, fuck you, chalk or chair bitch. And then uh, chalk man should actually be fairly easy. There we go. Just nuke him down, basically. Let's go ahead and expend our last paper and then we'll wait for that to respawn again. I know it's a little bit tedious, tedious waiting eight seconds every time to get our new charge, but it's important. I need every fucking advantage I can get here. That was not a threatening enemy. Okay, so that's a boss. Let's not go to the boss just yet. I want to see if we can get to uh, an item first. Yep, here it is. Uh, these green clouds will re reverse our movement, so we definitely want to look out for that. Go ahead and paper this motherfucker. Man, I've hold, held on to these crits for so long. Okay, we got the Kite Runner Kites, plus 10 move speed, gain 20% move speed when not damaged for 5 seconds. That seems pretty cool. Uh, attack speed, plus 10% attack speed, reduce cooldown on item. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting that because that will allow us to use our thing. And I think this is uh, evasion, which is cool. Let's go ahead and wait for the chalk to run out. Yeah, plus 8% chance to dodge attacks, so 8% of attacks will just miss us completely, which is pretty fucking sweet. And our papers are gonna uh, come back sooner, and we have more attack speed as well, so there's more, more DPS overall from that level up. I really am happy with the perk I got there. Oh god, get away. Alright, let's just use the last one. Yeah, yeah, now it's 6 seconds instead of 8 seconds. That's a pretty big deal, man. <clears throat> Alright, let's use that again. What have we got here? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, why are you so big? Why are you not a champion enemy? That guy seemed like a champion. He was really huge. Alright, let's uh, let's watch out for the fire, but definitely pick up that coin. And then come over here. These two chair bitches. That was not bad at all. These papers, man, seem really powerful. I am very happy to have this item. Oh, we got a shop! We got 14, oh my god. There's fucking things here that we could buy. Reduces all damage by 75%, 120% 20% life. I want it so badly. But unfortunately, I'm one coin away. And there's no way we're getting another coin. I don't think the boss ever drops coins. So instead, let's buy juice boxes. And a chalk. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and devour these juice boxes right off the bat, back up to 78 life, and we were just gonna hope that we can take out the boss on this level, but I consider it unlikely. Oh, I've fought this guy before! Oh, god. Yeah, Sudzy the Inanimate is uh, a relative of Frothy the Dragon, or is, is it Frothy? It's the, the Fire Dragon from the first one. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I think the last time I fought this guy I had a range up. 
which made it a lot easier. These papers also, maybe not the best for killing this man because of the uh, the range issue. I think right after he charges, I'm going to pop papers every time because I get a little opportunity to hit him there. Okay, so we'll pop the papers. Give him the papers. We hide here. Oh, man, that's bullshit. That fucking thing was undodgeable because of the, uh, the placement of the thing that I had to hide, hide behind. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's really bad. That's in the wrong place. Oh, wait, I can just stand down here. Never mind. I thought the ice was going to come from the other direction for some reason. Okay. So we're going to die to Sudsy here. Pretty much no question. I would have needed a lot more HP to handle this. Oh, God, that was close. Yep, okay. All right, so we actually got some tokens there. Let's check out the extras one more time. So we got class schedule. We can get whispers. Gain up to plus 20% extra crit chance when near an enemy. Um, that doesn't actually seem that good. Oh, we have 66 tokens? When did that happen? Jesus Christ. Okay, so we're going to leave some credits for the counselor. The credits vanish in a flash of light. The counselor seems to expect more. Well, fuck you. All right, 25 more. Additional juice box capacity. Um, starting juice box inventory increased. Cool. All right, all right. So I'll take that. Let's go ahead and exit there. And uh, we actually have enough left over to also get whispers, so let's do that. Um, one period to equip, and we have zero periods left. But we don't have anything else unlocked anyway. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how the, the progression works there. But anyway, that's going to be the end of episode one of Let's Play Our Darker Purpose. The release build this time, not the alpha. Having a lot of fun so far. This is really cool. I like a lot of stuff that they've done since the alpha. I really like the alpha, but... Um, you know, I feel like the game's a lot more fleshed out now. And uh, I'm liking a lot of the new items that I've seen. Like, those papers are awesome. So hopefully we can see some more, uh, some more cool stuff as we play. But I'll see you guys next episode for now.